going on, everybody? My name is Northy, and it's time. The first release of 2023 is here. Footy Stars 2023. Oh, man, I've been waiting for this. Uh, this is only a box that I have just picked up from a local news agency because my orders arrived literally a minute before my P.O. box closed for the day, so I couldn't even get it. I couldn't even go and grab it. They closed up, and so... I am so excited to be showing you guys my first look at Footy Stars 2023. But with my own pack opening, obviously the other day I showed you guys um, the RGV collectible side of things and how they looked um, from their side of things with the hobby packs. Uh, this is just a regular box of Footy Stars, so we will not be seeing any of the exclusives from hobby just yet. But I promise you they will be coming soon. Footy Stars 2023 though, I'm just keen to get into it. I'm so, so keen to get into it. It's the first one of the year. We're not going to dawdle around too much. I know you guys are here for one reason. So, oh man, I'm keen to get a look at what the cards are. Hopefully we can pull something really nice here today. Um, some predictors are always good. Let's hope we don't get some kind of dud box because I'm not sure what the likelihood of us getting no um, hits over box odds are. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out very, very quickly how uh, our luck is looking for this year. So, I know Footy Stars was pretty good for me last year. Footy Stars this year. Let's see how you do. Iconic is the big set this year, and I will show you a bit on the back here. Um, you can see here the common parallels and the mascots and all that. All the pack odds this year. It's exciting. The two big box hits there, and obviously we have ourselves all those predictors that we can get. Iconic as one in every 432, and instant wins being one in every 1,296. So, a lot here to look forward to. The red, the red is popping here. It is a big popping red right now, and I'm keen to see whether our luck is uh, on point to start the year. An instant win card, um, I've told myself, is the kind of what I want to get, but we can't guarantee anything. We can't guarantee anything at all, but let's have a look at the card. We're gonna have a look at uh, what our cards look like this year. And you can see, got ourselves a nice Jack Darling common card to start this one. Bit interesting. Obviously, uh, last year there was no background like this, like AFL background in the back. So that is definitely new. We've got ourselves um, that mix of the white and the grey, also oh, not the grey, the blurry background. So a bit interesting there for sure. And lovely right afterwards is an AFLW card. I like the look of these designs. I'm not, a, I'm not a massive fan, but I'm not against it. That's for sure. Uh, but we got Cozzy here next. Darcy Moore, our first insert. Insert. <laughs> Zach Merritt is going to be. Ooh, this looks interesting. We got ourselves essential. Sam Walsh. Man, they look exactly like they almost look like the virtuosos from last year. They get me excited. But you can see here, Sammy Walsh, essential. Really nice looking card. Beautiful stuff. I'm excited to see all the new sets. Getting them in, ha in hand is amazing. It's so exciting. Uh, but I'm keen to see whether we can uh, finish some sets quickly. I'm not going to be looking for any cards just yet. Uh, obviously, prices are super high right now. So I wouldn't go around too much looking for things. But next card, I'm interested to see what we got here. We've got Lucky Neal, Sam Doherty, Jess Duffin, Josh Kelly. And our next one up is going to be... Ooh, nice, and North Melbourne colour spots. It is the uh, common parallel of Bailey Scott. Very, very nice indeed. I love the shine on the card. It is very, very nice. I will take that, especially a North Melbourne one being my first. We're taking that every day of the week. But uh, I know eventually we're going to get to the point where you guys want me to speed up a bit. But it's my first box, guys. Give me give me a little bit of time, all right? Let me enjoy my packs, all right? Uh, these packs are a little tougher than um, I remember them being last year, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just a small nitpick, really. Nick Hine to start. Emma Swanson. Steel side bottom. Will Day. And we are finding ourselves next up. It's a mascots. Andrew Brayshaw. I'm really, really keen on these new mascot cards. You can see the shine of it is really, really nice. I think the design is a lot better. The animated uh, part is simply the body and uh, the head is normal. It is just a normal looking head for everybody else. I think this is much improved, much, much improved. And I really like the card in person. The shine is good, 
The design is really nice. I will definitely take that over the Starbursts that we've had over the last few years. With just weird different backgrounds. Ah, uh, not into that. Not into that as much as I am into these mascot cards. So, big improvement there. Very, very happy with that fall. Let's see what else we can do here. Pack number four. Oh man, I'm keen to see when we get into the box hits and when we get into the absolutely massive ones, but we're going to have to find out soon. Tyler Hanks, Jamie Lambert, Chad Warner, Sam Durham, Ola O'Dwyer, and a Riley O'Brien. Common parallel. Nice. I'm not sure whether um, that set's going to be hard to collect. It is just like basically a gold card from old school team coach where like every second pack is that kind of card. So it's a bit of an L in that sense. I don't like having a one per two pack card, but you know, you live with what you get and it could be a worse card to be fair. Zach Bailey, Harry Mackay, Matty Parkus, Shannon Hearn, and another mascot, Jeremy Cameron. See, although it does have that, like, Geelong, it has the cat body, like, I actually like it because the head is normal. I think it's creative. I definitely like it a lot more than what we've been getting for the last few years. The, the mascots is a nice refresher, I feel like. It's really nice to see. Next pack, come on. I want to see some box hits now. I want to see some good cards. Uh, I, I struggle very... There we go. Got to put a bit more pressure into it now. But... I need to get something big here. I want something big. We... It looks like we have something different, at least. We got Gaff, Parker, Mimi Hill, and yes, it is a milestone card. Callum Archie. I really like this card. This milestone card looks really, really nice. The design is much better than what we've had previously. I feel like these cards are definitely going to be nice to collect, but... Nonetheless, it is still not that box hit we're looking for. Uh, there are two guaranteed, plus the big um, hit for the box, which could be anything from a predictor to an iconic to an instant win. I definitely, I want to try and find one instant win this year. That's my aim. An instant win card would be pretty sick. But we got Josh Dacos, Alicia Newman, Christian Salem, Nick Haynes, and we got Sebastian Ross. Uh, common parallel. I like the look of them. I like that all the cards basically have that nice little bit of shine to it. They all look pristine. They look really, really nice, but we'll see how it fares on me as the year goes on. Like, it really could go either way. This could be a, a set that I get bored of quickly, or this could be a set that I keep coming back to because there's a lot to be excited with. But we've got CJ, Jerry Berry, Darcy Parrish, Jacob Wiedering and a Nick Blakey, Sydney Swans mascots. We got the Geelong previous grand finalist, and we got the other previous grand finalist in Sydney. Nice, I like it. What's interesting is the Docker looks a little normal compared <laughs> to uh, the cat and the swan, but maybe that makes sense in a sense. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's it's a fun it, it's an idea. <laughs> it's a funky looking idea, but I do like them. I like them more than the Starburst. I think is really what I'm trying to say. I'm not sure whether they're my favourite set. Don't get me wrong. I don't think they're my favourite set at all. But I definitely think it's better than Starburst. Hugh McCluggage, Cicely, Adams. Stephen May, and it looks like another one. Brittany Bonici. I like that uh, it doesn't have the same, like, text for each. I'm glad that the color spot remains the same for pretty much everyone, but uh, between the normal... Before, between the AFL players and between the AFLW players, you got the text on the left, bottom left there, and then the text as a text bar right there for AFLW players. I think it makes them unique. It makes them unique between each other, but... Man, I forgot how many packs 36 is. <laughs> This could go for a while. I am trying to go a bit quick now, but I am hoping that we still find something nice in here. Would be would be pretty helpful. We've got Jordan Degoe, Taylor Harris, Lou Parker, Dana Hooker, pretty early, and nothing else. That was three cards in that time. Dana Hooker, silver, um, color spots, common parallel. Very, very nice, but... Oh man, I'm getting excited. I'm I'm keen to see the AFL classifieds. I really like to look at the classified cards. I think they're a much improved card. The idea was great last year, but I think this year they've improved it, made it much better. And I'm keen to see what it looks like. I want to get to it. We got Chris, Sheed, Heaney, Whitfield, and Liam Ryan. See, I like this. I like this a little more. I think this is a really, really nice design. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, I think it's unique, definitely different. Super cool. Very, very happy with that. As all my commons are fallen here. Oh my god. I actually need these commons because I need to fill up my uh, my album with them. But 
<laughs> we'll see. We'll see just how much we need. At the end of the day, I will definitely 100%, 110% be collecting all the commons because you guys don't know how many packs I've bought. Uh, I've teased it a little on Instagram, by the way. Go follow me on Instagram. At Northy AFL, come on. You know the drill. But, uh, yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot to be excited for. And it looks like we have a box hit. Yes. Okay, I'm keen to see what these box hits look like in person. We've got Nick Blakey. Paddy Cripps. Jeremy McGovern. I don't need this falling, please. Here we go. Oh, Christian Petrarca. Wow, that is a really nice one to start. Christian Petrarca numbers the gold background this time. And instead of all the words that have their jumper number, it's just zero and just random numbers everywhere. But Petrarca's a really, really nice one to get as a very first numbers card for 2023. What would be even better is an amazing jumper number or 001. Let's see. Oh, wow. We're, you're starting my year off like this. That is so rude. That is so mean, dude. Really? Are you just setting me up for how the year's gonna go? Ugh, okay. Okay. All right, we're doing this already. It took us literally our first box hit and I'm being teased with numbers. I can't be bothered. I really can't. I didn't get a single. I want to point this out. I didn't get a single 001 last year. Not a single one. But don't worry, Christian Petrucker here to save the day, making sure that I get the same treatment as I got last year, straight again. I just need a 001, I deserve it at this point, <laughs> I deserve a 001, but nonetheless, we're going to keep moving. What's going on here? Dane Zorko, Bonnie Toogood, Charlie Kerno, Mitch Lewis, Dana Hooker, here we go, Bailey Smith Essential. It looks so much like the Virtuoso last year. It actually is kind of frightening, but Essential Bailey Smith. Very, very nice. We will take those for sure. Next one. Footy stars, come on. You've done me dirty so far. You've done me kind of dirty so far, but we're going to have a look at every single set and hopefully find some more nice cards in between. This looks like a very nice one. Coming up, a different type. We've got Nick Nat, Luke Bruce. Adam Saad, Harry Perryman, and it's a Jack Billings 150 game milestone. Lovely. I really like this. Obviously the silver variant of the milestone card. I definitely like it a lot. I'm keen to see the gold and the platinum version of this card because I think the design is beautiful and the way they've done the card design, the, like this like material here is so beautiful. I really like those milestone cards. Big fan of the vertical layout compared to the horizontal layout. I think they can do more with it. I think it can look uh, more natural with the set. But this looks like a one per two. We got Scott Pendlebury, Jack Viney, Dane Rampy, Stephen Cox, and Norm. We got Normy Isaac Smith. Okay, that's a really nice ball. He looks almost like not real. He looks plastic in this photo. What the hell? That's a bit strange, but nonetheless, a one per two common parallel. Pretty nice. I'll take Isaac Smith for sure. Next pack. Come on. You can't be teasing me the way you did with Petraka on the very first one. I need to I need to make up for it with a big one. I need to make up for a big pull. Jamie Elliott, Charlie Cameron, Nick Martin. Dude, the teasing is ridiculous. Please stop. Christian Petraka. Common parallel. Oh, Petraka. Petraka. What does that say about the season? Maybe it's Petraka's season to grab the uh Oh, he's already got Norm Smith. The Brownlow. Maybe it's his season for the Brownlow. Maybe that's what it means. I wouldn't be against it. Kate Luckins. Tommy Papley. Callan Ward. And Alicia Newman. Silver. Common parallel. Nice, nice. Two in a row, though. Let's find something different now. Come on. Mascots, I'm guessing. I'm going to guess mascots for this one. Or a... I nearly said virtuoso. Uh, iconic. Iconic is a lot more common... Uh, than the Virtuosos that we had last year, so very interesting to see. I think I know what this is. Oliver Florent, Bailey Fritch, Luke Shuey, Harris Andrews, and yes it is. It's Mason Redman of the Essendon Bombers. Essential, very, very nice. I will take all these, like, I think the inserts are, like, some of the best we've had for a good, like, while. The Starburst last year were a bit disappointing. Uh, I think I made that very clear last year. Um, I think... Considering that this year, the acetate is a box here, and they've made it look beautiful. Like, that is an insert that I'm definitely... 
I've definitely got my eye on. We've got Tom Green here, Dylan Moore, Matthew Kennedy, Dylan Shield, Maxi Gorn, and Sam Doherty. Silver common parallel. But do you see how the, like, the pack orientation can switch up? That is something I've never seen from Select before. Like, other than with Jumbo last year, where sometimes you get the two inserts, sometimes you get the one. Like, this is the weirdest type of orientation I've ever seen, because even in packs where you have to dig five cards deep for the insert, like, there will still just be normal packs. Usually something gives away that it's a different kind of pack. We've got Darcy Vessio, Jake Lever, Nick Dacos, Caitlin Ashmore, and it's Hayden Young of the Fremantle Dockers Essential. Beautiful. We'll take that. I love the Essential cards. They actually look so nice. I'm so, so happy with the look of these inserts. Essential is like one of the cleanest looking ones I've seen in a good while. Sorry, camera. There you go. I'll put you back. It's, it is seriously one of the cleanest looking sets that I've seen in a really, really long time. Um, so, congrats, Select. This is a really, really good, really good start to the season. Liam Duggan, Callum Mills, Adam Chera, Andrew McGrath, Angus Brayshaw, and it is a Toby the Nank Nankervis. Alrighty. Another silver. I think there's supposed to be 18 in a box because it is one per two. So we'll get a lot of them at least. But uh, I don't know, man. I feel like the commons, uh, sorry, the doubles of those are going to pile up so quickly throughout the year. It is going to be a bit of a stressful year in terms of uh, all those silvers as I think we've got another one here. Hold on. Let's just... Oh, hold on one second. We found our hit. We found our big hit. It is a nice looking card. We got Dyson Heppel. If it was who I thought it was, it, it would have been better. Or if it was who I think it could have been, it would have been better. But I don't think it's them. I think it's someone else on the same team. But nonetheless, it's Matt Rowell. We got the Matt Rowell Brownlow Predictor, the gold one. Beautiful. If it was Took, then maybe we get a bit, a bit excited. But Matt Rowell. He's still on a bit of a journey. We, he's not there yet, but Will Brody is our silver parallel there. We got two in that pack, so it clearly shows that these can just be added in at random. But Matt Rail Brownlow Predictor, if this was Took, a bit more excited. Come on, give me a good number though, at least. 227, wouldn't say good number. <laughs> not the greatest number, but nonetheless, Matt Rail Brownlow Predictor. I, wish, I do wish it was that Took Miller. If it was Took... Could have made things very interesting. Could have really popped this uh, popped this box into the good books of mine. But it's okay. We keep it moving. It means we don't get ourselves that instant win or iconic we may have been looking for. We've got Brayden Maynard, Liam Duggan, Callum Mills, Adam Chera, and... Ooh! Female mascots. I didn't even know that there were female mascots. Is that weird? Like, did I just miss those? But Angela Foley. This is a cool looking one, though. This is a really cool one. I will take that every day of the week. Next pack... Come on, be good to me. I want to see some big things here. Yeah. Next pack is starting off with Toby Green, Daisy Pierce, Lance Franklin, Chad Wingard, and oh, lovely, the Platinum AFL Milestone. 250 games for Zach Tui. That's a really, really good looking one. The Platinum does look quite similar to the Silver. T hard to tell the difference, I think, but... It is definitely a nice looking card in general. I think, yeah, again, it comes back to the design. The, di the design really makes the Milestone look a lot better this year. Um, I think just all the sets almost feel like they've they've been fine-tuned. Nothing too crazy or new, but they've been fine-tuned. We've got Georgia G, G uh, Joe Danaher, Isaac Cumming, and Jai Newcomb of the Hawthorne Hawks. Color Spot, beautiful. Next pack, we are very close to the end of the box here. I'm super keen to see. I'm ripping them fairly quickly for a first box of the year, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to do it. It's exciting. It's exciting. You got to get through these packs because you want to get the best stuff as be as quickly as possible. We've got Andrew McGrath, Angus Brayshaw, Jack Crisp, and a Cogs, Stephen Canelio. Silver spot parallel. I could not tell you how many packs we have left, but these packs are already ruining my hands, and I'm so not looking forward to something coming up in the future. But... That is for probably tomorrow. There's a good chance tomorrow. But we've got Brittany Benici to start. Liam Ryan. Sam Walsh. Montana Ham, the number one pick. And... No, not yet. Christian Petraka and... Emily Bates of the Brisbane Lions mascots. Lovely, lovely. Next pack. 
They got a lot of mascots, I think. Obviously, we know about Silver. We know about the uh, common parallels. Uh, I want to see more Essentials. I think Essentials are definitely some of the best looking cards in this set, but we'll see. We'll just have to see. I'm very keen to see what hobby boxes are like, though. I'm so keen to get my hands on those hobby boxes, man. They're going to be so good. Dom Sheed, Isaac Heaney, Lockie Whitfield, Human Cluggage. Oh, here we go! It's Zach Dewey again! Nice! Just look how nice these cards look. They have a bit of weight. They feel like they have a bit of weight to them as well. Oh, man. 344 of 365 there. So no great number there for that one. But Zach Tui, number 77. It says at the top here, AFL top 150 players, if you can read that one. And then we go to the back. Anything here? No, but I do like the look of it from the behind. I think it's very cool what they did with this card. The acetate. I think this is the best looking acetate I've seen from Select ever. I think this is definitely up there. There's a little, like, talk at the bottom. I don't know if it's got anything to say. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like just random... Um, words discussing the AFL and how it works, but nonetheless, that is a beautiful looking box here. I am so keen to see what we can do with the AFL classified this year. I'd like to collect it all. I really would. Like 150 cards is a lot, especially when they're numbered, but like I would love to collect that set. Next pack, I'm going to kind of skip to it now, but we've got Adam Trelaw, Silver Common, beautiful. Um, but yeah, we're going to kind of skip through the rest of this box because we know pretty much that we've got everything we need. We got everything from this box uh, with the two box hits and the one big hit. Unless we, for some reason, have another thing waiting for us in here, which I don't think is possible. I think there's only three big hits that you can get in these packs. As yes, it is a Took Miller. I could have used you as a Brownlow predictor, but you know what? Took Miller, nice to add you to the collection. How many packs do we have left? It looks like six. Six left. All right, let's see. Come on. Finishing off with a bang, hopefully. Let's see how that goes. Finishing off with some nice players, I think, is what we're looking for. Another milestone card. It's a bronze. Peter Wright. Nice and up-and-comer for the Bombers. He's starting to really cement himself as one of the best uh, goal kickers in the league after going from Gold Coast to the Bombers, finding his stride there. Unfortunately, it still seems to be the case for a lot of ex-Gold Coast players where they find their stride elsewhere. Next pack, who we got is another essential, Dan Houston of the Port Adelaide Power, as Aaron Phillips is behind him. The Port pack, I guess. I don't know, maybe that's what you can call it, but not many left to go. Three left, third last pack right here. This has been a quick box, but I'll tell you what, I really liked what I've seen so far, other than the tease of the number. That was hurtful. But next pack, we've got ourselves Sam Durham. Sam Durham of the Essendon Bombers, silver spot. That is one thing I will take from opening these packs so far. I am already sick of the silver comments. I already hate the fact that you get them in half the packs. Half the packs of those things. I do not like that. That is going to infuriate me as the year goes on. I can already tell. Essentials. Nice. Jeremy McGovern. That's a, I still love the look of this card. I love it. Definitely really glad I got my hands on this one, but... Two more packs left. Okay, I thought this was the last one. Never mind. We've got two more to go. Come on. Finish it off nice for me. A North card of some sort, so I don't have to go out and try and collect it. That would be really good. Angela Foley of the Port Power. Okie doke. And, oh, the header card. Nice. There's the header card for 2023. Nothing crazy, but there is that one. Last pack now. Come on. Finish it off strong. I want to see a North player. I saw Bailey Scott as my first silver parallel. Now I want to see a North player of any sort. Make a, make a Bailey Scott. Why not? Why not make a Bailey Scott? It's a silver. It is, and it's Jared Lyons of the Brisbane Lions. Convenient. Who knows? But that is the box. We did go through it fairly quickly, but let's go through what we found. Now, first off, I will show up. This is the best looking card, I think, out of all the cards in a regular box like this. This AFL classified Zach Tui is brilliant. It's absolutely phenomenal. I really, really like the look of it. Um, Zach Tui is just a good player, obviously being in the top 150, but the design of the acetate, I think, is the most creative I've ever seen. It is really nice. But next we go to the Brownlow predictor that we pulled of Matt Rowell, numbered 227 of 260. Don't imagine he's making that bre that type of breakout season this year, but I mean, if he does, I'm all here for it. I'm here for it. Uh, I really wish this was took. I really, really wish this was took. But you know, it's you win some, you lose some. This one was both a win and a loss. 
I think probably the biggest one of the box in Christian Petraka. Obviously a big name. Number five uh, is his number. And we pulled number six because of course we did. Uh, <laughs> Christian Petraka. How are you going to tease me like that? Uh, nonetheless, the card is really good looking. Uh, the numbers, once again, coming back stronger than ever, in my personal opinion. I really, really like the look of it. But nonetheless, that is Footy Stars 2023 to start. We have so much more 2023 Footy Stars to come. This is just one video of many that is going to come out within the next week, two weeks even. It's going to be so, so much. And I don't think you are ready for what I'm preparing tomorrow. You really are not ready, and I'm so keen to get it started with you guys. This was just a box that I picked up because I couldn't get my boxes today. So, I am so keen to show you what more I've got. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. You do not want to miss what is coming out in the future. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.